Well, we're back. Good morning. I have a couple of videos to post. That being said, though, it's time to make our week and make your day and do all those lovely, wonderful things. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Let's get rolling here. Got stuff to do, right? You got stuff to do. Do your stuff. Do your stuff. Well, I've sat around entirely too long. The sun is dipping in the sky, but I need to mow. So I'm at least going to mow the front yard, which is all I mowed last time I mowed. The backyard will be fine. While I'm out here filming, um, I have ordered the, the part for the car. The, um, what's it called? You know what I'm talking about. I, the rubber hose thing didn't work, so I just went ahead and ordered the part. Oh, I should check my email and see if it's like on the delivery way or anything, but I got to mow. So that's going to happen as soon as it gets here. Hmm. I have some other things that I still, parts that I still need to do to put on this car. I just haven't done it. You know, I don't want to do it when it's 90. <laughs> I got a okay. It's um, 8, 12. I mowed the front yard as promised. Now I'm in the car. I'm going to go up and watch the ladies play some sand volleyball. I have to tell you, I really want to like stop at Dairy Queen and get a blizzard, but I shouldn't negate the good work that I did today and uh, the sweat that I just got doing the grass by getting Dairy Queen. So well, I'm going to hold strong and I'm just going to go up there with my Diet Mixed Berry flavored green tea. It's Wednesday. Let's make our day what we want our day to be. Whew, man, I ate great yesterday, I thought. I did have a bowl of cereal after dinner. But right after dinner is kind of a part of dinner. Mowed the lawn, you know, kept my calories. Maybe 2,200, gained a pound. Not possible. Oh, well, possible. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> now it's Wednesday. Let's go Wednesday. What am I, a freaking calendar? Well, the wife <coughs> texted, ah, this is a mess, about meeting her for lunch because she uh, dropped the car off to get serviced. And she waited until she was already like there and outside waiting for me before she texted. So I'm gonna hustle up there, pick her up, and let's have some lunch. That was kind of funny. I was thinking about like that she and I should have lunch today. Just weirdly. Well, off we go. Lunch was good. The callisters had to drop the wife back off because I have a meeting that started three minutes ago. And I'm still a half a mile from my house. Well, actually about a mile. About a mile from the house. So uh, that's that. When I was mowing the backyard, I had a, a moment Oh, this is funny. Um, this person car just came flying by me. And now this cop's going to pull him over. And I thought, yeah, he's really enjoying this road. I have enjoyed this road. But totally busted for speeding. I don't need to catch it on film, though. I uh, was having one of those dad moments while I was mowing about... Um, You know, thinking deep thoughts, and now I can't remember what it was. Something that I wanted to report to you here on the Cincinnati Dad vlog. Uh, one is don't speed here on uh, <laughs> Old Five Mile, because occasionally there is, in fact, a Anderson Township Trooper on it. Not very often, but occasionally there is. I really can't remember what it was. It did remind me, though, as I was mowing, and the neighbor kid was out next door, and I thought, you know, his mom should make him mow, because she mows all the time. And my kids are now like not around to mow, so I'll be mowing again, which is fine. But I also thought, mm, you know, I'm 56. Shouldn't I be hiring some kid to do it and not doing it myself? Which led to, no, of course I should be doing it myself. I should be able to maintain my yard 
for a long time. And I should because it helps keep me young, it helps keep me healthy. And it reminds me of, uh, of when my father-in-law was about my current age, I was helping him. We were splitting wood. We had a, he had a bunch of trees cut down and uh, he rented a log splitter and uh, we were working on this thing. And I remember thinking to myself, this dude is in his 50s, why is he doing this? And now here I am in my 50s and I could totally do it. I've done it, I've chopped a little wood. I'm feeling pretty vigorous. Uh, so, <laughs> hmm. Uh, when you're young, everybody seems old until you get to that age. And that just keeps rolling through you. When you're six, a high school kid seems so old. Uh, when you're a high school kid, 30 seems like so far down the road. Oh my God, my teacher is 32 years old. And uh, and when you're 30, you're like, man, why is that 50 year old messing with that? And then you turn 50 and you're like, because I still feel a lot like I did when I was 30. All right, it's windy, I'm gonna stop. I'm going to pick up dinner. That view doesn't suck. The camera, you know, never replicates it well. But you gotta love a good sunset. Over the hills of northern Kentucky as we cross over the Ohio River to pick up our favorite Thai food. And then you get up over the hill and the sun's not setting, it's up. It's up. Oh wait, there's a hill. I have to give kudos to the wife. I thought, hey, we could just go to the restaurant. Um, she had stuff to do around the house. It's like, no, let's just call it in. And that was the correct thing to do because this restaurant has been closed for dine-in for a while because of the pandemic which they misspelled rather adorably on their sign in their window. Um, but, um, so, and they still are. So yeah, it was carry out only. So uh, that was the right thing to do. All right, back across the river we go. Back across the river we go. Yeah, those are the fall decorations. They're out. <sighs> it's about time. It's almost October. Oh, it's so great when the yards mode. I have to have to tell you, there's a bit of dad pride in uh, when the grass has been mowed, and you can see the lines. And especially this time of year, as the leaves are starting to fall, it cleans up that mess for at least a little bit. It'll look good for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, happy Thursday, people! Let's get some work done. Yeah, we're in. Can you even see me? I don't know if you can even see me. Hi, it is um, late Thursday. I have just left the volleyball joint after spending the significant portion of my evening at Claremont Mercy Hospital with my oldest brother who was in some pain and feverish and he had some stuff going on. So they, uh, while he was waiting in the emergency department for test results, um, I came and hung out here because, you know, it's not far away, it's 11 minutes from here, something like that. Um, and it was either sit in the waiting room or sit in my car, and I was sitting in my car. And uh, so they finally admitted him, he's got something on his liver an infection clearly because of his fever white blood cell count was elevated so they got him on some major antibiotics and they're keeping him overnight and tomorrow they will reevaluate and see what's going on back there so i might spend a chunk of my day hanging out at the hospital tomorrow but it's a work location for me so i can just hop on the wi-fi and life will be good so uh that was what was happening here on my exciting fun-filled Thursday. Now you know about it too. And now the internet knows about it. So uh, by the time you see this, he'll probably be okay. <laughs> They'll have figured out what's going on with his liver and uh, get, fought this infection off. 
and uh, we'll be moving on from that. All right, I hope you made your Thursday what you wanted your Thursday to be. That was not what I wanted my Thursday to be. No, 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 no. Okie dokie. See ya. Hmm. All right. Let's get logged in. Um, it's Friday. Finally, it's Friday. <sighs> um, uh, abscess and potential earlier diverticulitis. So there you go. We'll get back to all that stuff in a little bit. I got to log on. All right. So that's one password. All right. And then we pull up the VPN thing, so I have to do another password, which I can never quite get typed in because three other things will pop up on my screen, like Microsoft Teams, but Microsoft Teams won't load all the way because it wants me to type my password in as well, back here. And then it sends me a sign-in request, but I really need to do this because this is the VPN. And if I do this first, I don't have to do that. So, so frustrating. That sends a VPN access request to my phone. So then I gotta usually hit it for that for Teams as well. So now after all those pop-ups, I've got the Teams pop-up and then I've got Zoom pop-up, which just tells me what's coming up today. And then I still have to open up my email down here. And look, there's activity on my Teams. You can't see, I hope you can't see any of that because there's no reason for you to really see any of that. So I was hoping it was blurry. Well, the process is starting slowly of losing our woods. There's some guys back there measuring. I'm sure it's for lot lines and stuff like that, you know, surveying. Bummer. I know I've mentioned um, that I ordered a t-shirt to um, from a, a YouTuber that I like, Sarah, in Tuned, um, because she has been working on a Audi TT, and I have an Audi TT, and I've actually learned a lot from her channel. Um, so um, she has a uh, little sweepstakes going on. So yeah, I ordered a T-shirt um, about the Audi Quattro. Now it's a coupe, coupe A, not a convertible like mine, but there you go. So now I have a T-shirt, and it came today. So there you go. That was entries into the uh, giveaway for her car. It's a nice car. I'll put a link. Out we go. Off to see what's happening with the brother and pick up some lunch. But I do, of course, have to close the garage. Sometimes it really feels like going anywhere, getting the car and going anywhere. It's just a, too big of a process. <laughs> I get a seatbelt, I get the car, I get stuff out of my pocket, you know, because I don't want to be sitting on my wallet. I need to fix my garage door. Oh, 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 what the heck? Come on, dude. Note to self, don't pull the wrong way on that. All right, away we go. So I am on the way to visit my brother. For all I know, he's sleeping. But I have taken an old way. I went and got some Lee's Famous Recipe, which you probably can't see. Um, and I'm on the road where my in-laws, ooh, factory used to work. Oh man, look at that big down tree. That's a bummer. Um, so I spent several years driving on this road a lot. Um, to work for the in-laws when they had their, their place up here. Uh, it's called ICMI is what it was called. Uh, they sold it years ago now. Um, a new intersection here, but right here on this corner, that was it. That was the location for work. That was their building. Now there's other stuff in there now, which is pretty cool. And uh, fun for me, fun for me. So I'm on the way to the hospital, I'm gonna eat lunch and log into the Wi-Fi out there so that I can work from out there. And that's the afternoon, it's Friday, heading into the weekend. He said in a text this morning, he'll probably be at the hospital all weekend, which makes sense, so. Yeah, yeah. he's healing up, he'll be better. The 
there seems to be nothing that should be permanent. So that's good to hear. Okie dokie. That was that. He's doing well. No fever. Some pain from the procedure where they had to drain some stuff off of this thing on his liver, by his liver, abscess. Uh, so he's there overnight. I'm out. That's the end of this little segment. I'm going to drive. I'm going to go home. Wife's got a volleyball game. We're going to hang out with some friends tonight. Maybe sit outside and have a little fire. So, weekend. Make your weekend. What's your weekend? What's your weekend to be? Somebody's got a ref. Might as well be me. What was that? It didn't go over, honey. Damn it. 